you compare these two sides, do you see similarities and differences between in terms of their style, in terms of their mentality, and just generally the way that they have taken on the Premier League? I, I think Arsenal are one of the most entertaining teams in the Premier League. Newcastle, on the other hand, I would say are probably the more balanced football hmm. side. I, you know, I've really enjoyed watching them, the balance that they have in defence, in attack. Not the most offensive-minded team. They like to strike a perfect balance between the attack and defence and those are reflected in the numbers. In terms of chances created, Newcastle just won more than Arsenal in the Premier League this year. Crosses attempt, attempted, obviously with the likes of Kieran Trippier there, that number was always going to be significantly higher, 321. Tackles made as well. Newcastle again, sometimes being a bit more on the defensive mode, committing more tackles, clean sheets, more than Arsenal as well. Nick Pope has been brilliant for Newcastle and they've conceded lesser goals than Arsenal. It's, it, they're a more balanced football team and it's a slightly different proposition mm. to the Brighton team that Arsenal faced where it was a bit more open, there was a bit more space for them to operate in. This is going to be a lot tighter at the back. And in case you didn't know, we have midweek matches coming right up. First off, Chelsea will take on Pep Guardiola's Man City at the bridge. And then it's Arsenal looking to extend their lead at the top. They will face, of course, Eddie House, Newcastle United. And over at the Serie A, Inter Milan will look set to inflict Napoli's first defeat. Yes, first defeat of the season. All stats, predictions and more only on the big kickoff.